So my my buddy Rich, the German Wonder Boy, the Golden Hopper, uh, he was just visiting. He was hanging with Andrani and I, and I gave him a taste of Old Monk, the good one, the good one. And he said, "I'm not a big fan of fan of rum." I said. It depends on the rum for me as well. I said, but trust me, you're going to like this. You're going to, you might like this as much as you like some of the whiskeys you like. He said, all right, let me have it. And I gave him a taste and he tasted it. And he went, that's really good. I said, I know, right? He said, that's the best rum I've ever had. <laughs> right on. I, I love it. <laughs> it's a good rum. I don't think it's the best rum. I, I've had a lot more rum than Rick, though. You drink way more rum than me. <laughs> I love Old Monk. Yeah. Uh, hey, welcome back to our stupid direction. It's Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitter. Uh, today what we got it, a. Do you have a favorite? Uh, what? Is it whiskey? Would whiskey be your favorite? If it was a liqueur? Yeah. Uh, Any spirits? It depends on Take where Take away I'm, beer and wine. It depends on where I'm at. Whiskey is what's usually going on. Uh, like a Jameson. But rum would be a really close second go to, yeah, right? Especially if I'm. At the beach or at a pool? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because uh, uh, my favorite rum is Myers. It's a dark spice Jamaican rum. It's so good. It reminds me of childhood. It's interesting because I love I love whiskeys, right? Um, but after that, I love I, I love vodka. Yeah, vodka no, drinks are. I I don't. I mean, I'll drink vodka. I'll drink anything. Oh. I, I, I'm not really discriminatory towards alcohol, um, except for like fruity drinks. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of any uh, fruity drinks. Okay, it depends. If I'm at the pool or at the beach, sure. But usually, they're too sweet. No, to like, me too. I don't want a strawberry margarita. I want a, yeah. just a, pl a good a, margarita. Yes, a plain margarita. Yeah. But anyways. Anyway. Today we got a food video. This food video. Hey, speaking of stuff to imbibe on and on eat. On real South Indian f street food, 90-year-old cotton seed milk stall and giant bread mountain. I what don't know the? what any of those mean. 90-year-old uh, cotton seed milk stall. Okay. Cottonseed milk. And Didn't know such a thing existed. From a channel called Chasing a Plate, Thomas and Sheena. We haven't seen any. No, we don't know this, them. Uh, one, but. And uh, Giant Bread Mountain. South Indian street food. Mmm. Sounds delicious. Here we go. Bring it on. Oh, this is insane. Oh, it's such a crush today. We're in the south of India. We're making this city is known as the street food oh. capital of the south. We have got so many hidden gems and light up to share with you. Madurai in the south of India is the city that never sleeps. <laughs> it's a nighttime street food scene like no other in India. This is our third video from Madurai, and we're delving into the heart of the local food culture. We eat an evening favorite, Kotu Parata, at a roadside street store oh. packed with locals. It's frenetic, smoky, and one of the most chaotic spots we've ever filmed. We drink Madurai's iconic Paruthi Pal, a steaming hot cotton seed milk from a... Uh. Unbuffer, unbuffer, let it go. Stop doing it. Let it play. Come on, technology. Be friendly and kind and workable and stop. Oh, there we go. Insane. We hope. There we go. We drink Madurai's iconic Paruthi Pal, a steaming hot cotton seed milk from a third generation family store. Oh, and a gloopy, <laughs> sticky halwa. Whoa! The city, from a legendary shop that sells over 250 trays a day. In this India series, we'll yeah. show you some of the country's best food. Oh! oh. To traditional recipes. You don't want to miss this series. Get ready for the night <laughs> he, he looked upset. He looked very upset. We hope you're hungry. Let's eat. They're cute. Good production the value horns. on your... Uh... Madurai is known as the city that never sleeps. And that's because it has a bustling nightlife. Like, it's just gone dark now. And look at the street. There are so many people... It's an Indian street. <laughs> Ma'am, you have COVID. <laughs> <laughs> um, is this the 
My Lucy Pop. Yeah, this is gonna be good for me because I've got a cold and a cough. Why would you tell him that? <laughs> okay. That um, looks like you... soup. Oh, can I try some? Ooh. Oh, the gentleman is just giving me some of the powder that goes into the drink, so it's not like ginger. 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 It's gonna be perfect for me. So this is this powder. <laughs> just a bunch of onlookers. It's also got cotton seeds, jaggery, I believe, and some more spices. Jaggery. Herbs. It's a hot Sweet, drink. delicious. I love jaggery. That's a thick looking drink right there, man. <laughs> he straight up was saying, move, get out of the way. That's hilarious. I wonder what that tastes like. Really? Well, if it's ginger, it's going to be good for your throat. For sure. Yeah. It looks like soup. Yeah, it does look like a soup. And the the is actually sitting in this big copper pot, which is boiling hot. You can see the steam coming out of it. And the guy's just pulling the Peruthi pile from one cup to the next. Stretching it a bit and then pouring it into the glasses. I still can't believe this cow's just rocked up and just taking this. Like, that guy's going to hit you. <laughs> all, um, coming here to this store, no glasses, Peruthi pile. And we've come to this store and we've been around for 19 years. So it's going to be $6 here in Los Angeles. <laughs> Come uh, across town for our next street food and look at this little um, street food stand. There's so many people in here. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I love all these people. Me too. We're having another very matter dish here. It's called cocktail Whoa! Oh, I wish you had some television. That's insane. Me too. This crowd. We're going to have to fight our way through and try and uh, get some food up the back, I think. Whoa, this is crazy, crazy busy. I have absolutely no idea who works here. Wow, he's tall. Oh, the parathas, so all the bread cooking up here. Oh. Are those parathas? Is that what he said? I think so. Try to find someone who can help us out. Can we eat? See? You work your way through the crowd, and there are a few tables back here. And a bunch of people eating on banana leaves. This is nuts. This is one of the craziest seafood places ever. The amount of people here. Wow. He's like, yeah, what up, crazy white dude? <laughs> I love all these people. And it sounds you can hear that crashing sound. Oh. It looks like fried rice. Oh, that's cool. Wow. That's cool. It's almost like a popular um, popular local places in New York that are just always packed. Yeah. 
temporary structure, and that is exactly what this is. It is so neat, and the food that everyone's chowing into is <laughs> so, so good. Nice. Oh, nice toss. Oh. We've got our portion of Patu Parata, and this place is amazing. It's like nowhere else we've ever been. And the food looks Oh, it's good. making me hungry. So this is the Kotu Parata. They take that bread that we've seen cooking over there uh -huh. and being made. They take the bread, and I can see egg in there. I can see tomato. I can see chicken. Obviously, a whole lot of herb um, spices. It gets all put onto that hot plate together and then cut up with those big, um, oh, oh, some chicken. <laughs> Okay, we thought we had some chicken gravy coming, but we've actually oh. got oh. 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 oh, that looks Onions unbelievable. Look at all that flavor. Yeah, it's literally falling off the bone. Seriously, look how busy it is. <laughs> we've been here about 20 or 30 minutes waiting for food. <laughs> Whoa, the smell. It's really good. It's been this busy the whole time. Totally. He coughed. He was like, "You did." <laughs> it's like, like you gonna be all right, dude? I can't sit here talking about it any longer. Oh, look at that! Nice and dry, actually. Very nice and dry. That looks so interesting. I want it. Oh, oh it's so good. Mm. There's a lot of the parata, all the bread in there. And that's taken on the flavors. So, so there's what bread, well. egg, chicken. Oil, so yeah, it's kind of like a matzo bra oh, with oh, minced chicken. So oh, <laughs> getting so hungry. Me too. I, know. I was literally just thinking what I'm going to eat when I get back home. I really want to eat on a banana leaf. That is so well rounded. Oh. Perfect amount of salt as well. I'm getting a pepperiness. Unreal. I'm starting to see why there's so many people here. Let's grab some of this chicken. That, that just looks unbelievable. That just looks just like all flavor. Yep. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. Actually, roasted chicken. Mm. Mm. Smoky, smoky, spicy. That's going to go perfectly oh, with the coffee parata. Oh, they are such a good combo. This is an incredible stall. This is one of these ones where you would travel halfway around the world to eat here again because... I think I paid $10 so for my Chick-fil-A so meal. Yeah. And the food is so good. I would rather have that. That's not late for India. What time? 11 p.m. Uh, yes. Carrot halva, lentil halva. Oh. I like it more than glob German. Really? Yes. Carrot halwa, we made it on our channel once. Oh, Can so I good. Use, uh, have some halwa? Yeah, is that it there? Wow, it looks great. Uh, Just one not any kind of halwa I've ever had, though. I was going to say, when we saw that earlier, that's not what I would have thought that is. An, I've never seen anything like that. No. Nandri, wow. That looks like a goo. Wow. It's a hot goo. What kind of halwa did they say it was? I didn't pick it up. Me ordering and eating it, so she's standing next to me, and I'm making sure I'm doing her right. Natalie, Natalie, chillin, chillin. Mmm, Natalie. Oh, you're from. Oh, where are you from? Oh, where are you from? I think she's just saying that she's actually in Madurai for uh for Pongo. You come? You come for Pongo? She's from here. Yes, she's come from out of town to Madurai for Pongo because it's Tamil New Year. Um, this halwa here looks so interesting. The hawa is actually made up of yeah, not anything I've ever seen. And sugar, and it is so hot to the touch. It's almost boiling. It's ghee, semolina, and sugar. It reminds me of just a, a jam or a preserve. Yeah. And it's served on this beautiful leaf. I think it's a mountain ebony, mountain ebony tree leaf. And look at this. 
<laughs> She's so sweet. Nice to meet you. Happy Congo. Did she say her name's Pushpa? I didn't hear it. it was, she said it so quietly. I love that they not only did this, I love that they kept this in the, yeah. in the edit. Tell us what they're actually saying in the comments below, please. I want to know. Yes. Not just food culture. Exactly. Everything about their culture. Oh, yeah, they're my bangles. So sweet. How oh, sweet. I'm so interested in this. Must be like a mango. Very sweet. Has a very gooey texture. Clearly, yeah. And it is hot. You can see, if you come closer, that it's very shiny. And that's from all of the ghee in there. So ghee is a type of clarified butter. So yeah. Just, what kind of halva is that? Because it's not a regular halva. Mm. Oh. I love how it's very soft. Yeah. It's more a massive portion. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> the nightlife here is nuts. There is so much honking. What film is that up there? Just off the main road. So much traffic tearing past. People are out and about. can't tell. It's wild. The taste of the hull is so strong in my mouth. Very buttery and sweet. And we are just chatting to the guys and they said that they sell a minimum of 250 trays of that hull a day. They're very famous. They're just people pouring in. Wow. They've been here for over 50 years and they've got a really reputable brand. And when we were chatting to them, they said, okay, you've tried this, the traditional one. Have a taste of these specialty ones. So we've got Those look more like halva to me. <laughs> A carrot hulwa, carrot. an almond hulwa, and then one which is a milk-based one. So I want to try this carrot one. This is very intriguing. Yes. So these are served room temperature. They're not, not hot like that one I had before. That's weird. Mmm. Mmm. It tastes like carrot cake. Super, super sweet. And let's get into this um, this almond one. And I love almond flavored stuff. Almond. <laughs> This is, um, Thicker. These ones. Yeah, those look like halva to me. The goo one, I, I, I don't even recognize it. Mm. Mm. It's got a bit of texture to it, so a little bit grainy and sweet and a very subtle almond flavor. It is going down a tree. Oh. oh, that was quick. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, all right. That was lovely. Yeah. I, I, I like these too. They, they seem like very genuine... Uh, people that are, yeah. are there to experience the culture, the food. Yep. Uh, and that was wonderful that they let 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 all that <laughs> those people like I stay in that. the video, yep. as opposed to which what a lot of people would do is, you know, cut the video, talk to them, talk and to then them restart, and go, your video, restart your video, and uh, what you do. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. I, I love that they just kind of kept that in there. Uh, I thought that was so sweet. Yeah, what kind of halva is that? No clue. It can't just be regular halva. Um, because well, it just said it was. She said it was just semolina and ghee and sugar. So strange because there's a. Um, obviously, we've made carrot halva, and we had in India. India, the five star, right? Um, uh, in Delhi, yeah, I think it was in the shape of. Oh no, that was gulab jamun. It I was gulab jamun. I think we also had uh, halva too. We did. As well. I think so. Did, we had two gulab jamuns that day. I think we had carrot halva and j gulab jamun at the five star. At the five star, uh, which one of our favorite days? Oh well, man, uh, well, that was actually the first day. Yeah, that was day one. That chef man knew. Incredible. Oh, that food was so Incredible. good. All of the food. It's funny. Everybody we talked to, because <laughs> it's true, we were this way before as well. They're like. We talk to people here who've never been to India, and they're like, I love Indian food. <laughs> and Indrani's always like kind of rolling her eyes because, she, like most Indians, she knows in America there's only one kind of sort of Indian food people no, get. That's Indian food usually. Versus when it's made homemade by somebody here from India. And yeah. then the ultimate is 
when you go to India, you taste the variety of foods and how eclectic it is. Yeah. And again, how it still tastes Indian. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, so please let me know what that was. Uh, the second thing looked absolutely incredible and so unique. Uh, and I, just, I love it's one of my favorite parts. And anytime anybody does a video in India, like a, especially if like they're like a white or foreign event in any way. Oh, I know. <laughs> People just stare and stare. <laughs> I love that he coughed and the guy went, Ugh. And it, Ugh. <laughs> I know. And they don't have any under. Uh, not, it's not understanding. Uh, they don't have any uh, awareness of or care at all about the camera being on. Yeah, as opposed it's to just like this, here. Yeah, if you did that, just, most people would try to get out of the way. Yeah, they would know what's going on. I was like, yeah, they're. I, I love that. The other thing I love, and I bet tastes really amazing, is any of the places that you're going and you're getting like the chicken dish that we saw. That was some fresh chicken right there. Mm. That that chicken was probably just murdered in the back, alive and just killed at the butcher two stalls down. <laughs> probably, yeah, legit. <laughs> probably uh, that's and Johnny said that's one of the things that amazed her, like about how the disconnect, which I talk about all the time, you know, about the eating stuff, because for her, anytime they wanted to get that for home cooking, that you go to the butcher and that's fresh that's not refrigerated it's the fish were just pulled out of the water the chickens were just killed and oftentimes they're killed right there while you're you're getting your chicken they're killed and plucked and handed to you no americans prefer to uh not see the uh the murder yeah <laughs> they, they, they basically prefer to have their own fashioned reality <laughs> hashtag america our own fashioned reality <laughs> It's pretty accurate. It's pretty accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that was great. Uh, please let us know what other food videos, street food, uh, all the kind of stuff. Always. We always uh, and I, they always make you incredibly hungry. Yep. And now I need to go eat some go food. Go eat something. So now. let us know what other videos we can react Goodbye. to down below. Just